Not so successful in Germany, but uh, do feel that Berger with his performances in the World Cup, etc., is a rider making a decent progress. Whether next year is too soon, Grand Prix wise, we'll have to wait and see. Still in the frame, three points from two rides. If you could win again here, then uh, who knows? We have the unbeaten Robert Lambert here in heat 11 as well. He goes in blue. So across the starting lineup for heat 11, Shemislav Pavlitsky rides in red, two points so far. Robert Lambert in blue, unbeaten with six. Dimitri Berger in white off gate three with three points so far. And Piotr Pavlitsky has yet to score so far. He rides in yellow. You never quite know what you're going to get from Piotr Pavlitsky, a classy rider on his day. Part of the Rostov side this year after so many years with uh, with Lezno in the Polish extra league up. They carry on their playoff bid tomorrow. Starting Marshall is being uh, making sure that uh, Shemislav Pavlitsky is exactly where he wants him to be. So he's on the inside, Lambert gate two, Berger gate three, and on the outside Piotr Pavlitsky and Lambert make a lovely start there in blue. Lambert gets to the first bend in front. Now here's the his Piotr Pavlitsky around the outside trying to turn back and he sweeps through on the inside. That's the uh, turn that Piotr Pavlitsky has. Lambert will turn back and read it immediately off the fourth bend. They're going to get very tight there. Pavlitsky way out of control and in the fence and down. And it's just not going right for Piotr Pavlitsky who is left in the fence on the fourth bend battling with Robert Lambert. It was a great move by Pavlitsky on turn two to find the speed to move through on the inside of Lambert. Lambert came back through on the inside on the third and fourth bend. They were battling for it. Then Pavlitsky got out of shape in the deep stuff, picked up some drive and went down. And we are waiting for the verdict from the referee out of Kuzmiric as far as an exclusion is concerned. Pavlitsky is still uh, receiving some attention on the fourth bend. Let's hope he's going to be OK. It was a pretty awkward get-off there from for the, uh, the Polish rider. And uh, he is... Uh, currently being attended to. He's got his mechanic actually with him rather than medical staff. They're bringing out the medical wagon at this stage but his uh, his mechanic uh, got to him first along with a couple of uh, track staff. Let's hope he's going to be okay. We haven't had a verdict yet from the referee as to uh, who will be deemed responsible. It was tight on that fourth bend. I don't think uh, I don't think Lambert did anything uh, untoward in, in, all, in all truth. They were racing hard. They're two quality riders uh, racing for it on the third and fourth bend and as I say Pavlitsky just got himself a bit out of shape, lifted, and uh, then just uh, couldn't retrieve the situation. He's now sat up uh, just uh, in front of the air fence. And uh, there's been no announcement yet from the, uh, the stadium PA. But I'm hopeful that uh, the fact that he is now sat up, he didn't move very much after the crash initially, but uh, race director Phil Morris is down there as well. His brother came to take a check. But I'm hopeful there's nothing too seriously wrong. Just a bit of uh, a shock when it happened. Very competitive. Vi kommer att få en omstart i det elfte hitet utan blå. Omstart i hit 11 utan blå föra som alltså är utesluten. Robert Lambert utesluten från omstarten i hit 11. And Robert, we will have a Robert Lambert. Number 11 without the rider in blue. Robert Lambert the is disqualified. Is disqualified. Robert Lambert is the one disqualified by the referee Arthur Kuzmiric. The auto 